Hey you guys, um, in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing on something that I got at FYE in the mall last Sunday. Um, but before I get into doing that, I want to say something, um, around 11 or 12 tonight I was really really nauseous and ended up vomiting um i think it could have been something that i ate that did not sell right with my stomach um that's probably it that's what i think it is um but oh uh, whatever i have a bottle of water with me i have like Three bottles of water, um, and I have this chocolate uh, cake thing right here that I'm going to be eating. Um, but I did go to the mall last Sunday with my boyfriend, and I went to FYE, and I saw this really cool doll there. Um, I was gonna get it, I was, I wanted, I was gonna get it Saturday when I went, but I was just really tired and, um, not in the best possible mood, and I was just being a, you know, pain in the butt. Um, so, that and I was dealing with, that and I just had a really bad headache and, just wanted to leave and and just go back to my boyfriend's place and lay down. Um, I did go to Home Depot Saturday, but uh, but Home Depot they did not have out any Halloween decorations whatsoever. They just had out Christmas stuff. They did have some really cool Christmas stuff. They had like this reindeer, this uh, animatronic reindeer, and the head moved, and he made sounds and and stuff. He was really really cute. I absolutely loved him. Um, they did have a animatronic of the Grinch, which was really cool. If a lot of people don't know, the Grinch is one of my favorite uh, characters. They did have this tall nutcracker, and his eye and the nutcracker's eyes they were uh, LCD, so it was it was it was weird, but I enjoyed it. But um, enough of that. This is what I got at Fye Sunday, and it is the doll of the creep from Creep Show. here um he is by um let me see he is by um mds uh retro plush dolls um i think he's really cool um he was originally uh 79.99 um, if you can see that price right there. I'll have to get a closer, I'll have to do a closer, a close-up of it. But he was on sale for $39.88. Which is on the front of the box, and I will show that to you. Um, there is, I'm going to unbox this. And show you what he looks like out of the box. Um... And I will give my honest opinion on this. Um, I did have to tape the box up across here, and I will explain why here in a minute. I will explain to you in a, in a few minutes why I had to tape the box up, but 
So before we get to the uh, doll, I'm going to show you the box. Um, the back, the uh, backing inside is this right here, which is really cool. Now for the box. Um, I'm just going to close this really quick and show you. But this is the box, window box for him. It says Creep Show right there, the east side of his box. I think is really cool. The back of it, which is really cool. It's for the uh, cover for the, I believe, the first, the first one that came out. That you see on the DVD case. Um, right there. Um, oh, I'm going to show you the price, which is right here. If you guys can see that, so it'll, it'll look good. There. That's how much he was originally, and this is the sale price for him, right here. Uh, I really like him though. I think he looks awesome. I think he's by Mezco Designer Series. I think that's what it says. Yeah. Mezco Designer Series, I think that is what it says. Um, another thing with the box is when I I bought him, um, I took him out of his box here, and when I was I had the box on the bed, and when I was trying to take him out or whatever, it literally ripped from here all the way it ripped from here all the way and so I tried to glue it down with uh, super glue that didn't work so I just taped it with some clear packaging tape I'm not very happy about that but um, I'm probably gonna end up getting a stand to stand him up on anyway yeah But this is what he looks like right now. We are going to be uh, taking him out. I did get take his uh, arms out of the uh, things right here that they had holding his arms in there. Um, but yeah, let's unbox this this guy here. Um, I have my trusty scissors. I know a lot of people are going to be like, why open it? Um, because I want to, and, yeah. Just be careful when you're opening stuff like this. Especially with these, like, little tabs things here that you gotta cut or whatever. Just be careful when doing that, that you don't accidentally cut yourself instead. Which is probably what's gonna happen here in a bit. I know it. Gonna try to get through there and cut that out. Gotta do the other one, which is not fun. Now with the other one, which is really hard to do. I can do it this way. Yeah. Just be very, very careful when you're doing this that you don't accidentally cut any part of the uh, fabric of him. Just be extremely careful doing this. It's like really tricky here. Trying to get him open, get him out of here. Okay, he does have something back here, 
which is going to be a pain in the butt to try to get out. Getting this doll out is a pain. Um, so just hold on a second. Okay. I got him out. This is what he looks like. Um, I'm gonna just gonna give my honest opinion on on him. Um, one, his head just goes like that, which is annoying. I wish it would, like, stay straight, but, uh, that won't happen, so I don't really know. Um, but that in his body, he does not have enough stuffing in his, in here, because the head is so heavy and all that it's just weighing him down and causing him to, um, his head to go over like that. His arms are plush, of course. Here's his hands. Right there. Other arm is the same. Plush. The hands. Um, his legs are plush as well. His, uh, feet. Same over here. Uh, the outfit is pretty good. I, uh, his hair does come out from here. Um, Um, he does have wire in the, um, part up here. Uh, I'm going to show you a close-up of the face, which looks like this. this is a close-up of the face. There he is without his other eye. He's got his missing eye. Here's his other eye right here, his, which I like. I like it when uh, companies like this do this, and they give them uh, glass-looking eyes instead of them being painted on. I think the face looks really good. I love the way the face looks. The detail looks amazing. I love the uh, I love the way the hands and the arms look here. Right there. Um, like I said, the body is like this. There's not enough stuffing right here. There's not enough stuffing. Um, this is his, uh, outfit he wears. Um, he has this right here. back of the outfit is like like the pieces are just wanting to come off like this the fray pieces which is really annoying the material of the um of the outfit is not really good quality the uh, outfit is not really good quality um i think they could have gave him more stuffing here and and did something so the neck so the head is not like really heavy and falling over like that um i'm gonna get the hair out and show you the hair the hair does come out um yeah this is the uh hair right here um, I'm just gonna give my honest opinion on him. Do I think that he is worth, um, like, 80 to, like, 100 bucks? 
do I think he's worth it um, for that price? Based on how terrible the quality of the clothes are and um, the head wobbling and it not being like really stuffed and filled out enough, um, do I think it is worth like 80 to 100 or 200 bucks for it? No, I don't think it is worth it for that price. Um, but I did not know that it would be like this. I didn't know that uh, it would be like this when I uh, got him. I thought that uh, it would the material of the outfit and, and everything would be really good quality. And I thought he'd be more plushed. And I thought that the head wouldn't just dangle like that. Um, but, I mean, honestly, uh, to, uh, I believe he is by Mezco. Um, I'm gonna give props to Mezco. Uh, one, one, I, I mean, things that I do like about, about the creep here is, one, I love the way the face looks. I mean, the face is really good. The amount, the amount of detail, the amount of, uh, detail and sculpting that they did for this is incredible. I love how the face and the head looks. Uh, I love, uh, that he has just one eye right here. Um, I love how the, uh, hands and the arm looks, of course. I do like how detailed the hands and the arm looks on them, and I love how f how detailed the feet and legs look here. I like it. Um, if any of you have a way that, if any of you have any ideas on how I can make him more plush, more plush like. And, and if you guys have any ideas on how I can keep his head from doing like this and all, uh, comment and let me know. Um, I will probably put him on a stand and stand him up, probably over at my TV. But yeah, sounds pretty cool when the head turns, when it goes like this. Some it sounds like bones cracking. I don't know, but uh, I think he looks pretty good for what he is. Like I said, do I think that it is worth a uh, hundred bucks or more for this? No, I don't think it is worth the money for it. But um, I'm actually glad to own him. He will be going up on a stand and sitting at my TV. Um. But like I said, uh, he was on sale for thirty nine eighty eight. Original price was seventy nine ninety nine. Uh, original price was eighty bucks. That or it was probably a different price, and they just put another sticker on top of the other one of what the original price was, since it wasn't really selling, I guess. Um, but uh, I do like him. And I think his box is really cool. Um, my favorite part of the box, of the window box, is probably the back of it. I'm going to try to show you that a bit better. So this is the box. The back of it here. I just love how it looks. Um, yeah, I do like it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. The most, the most fun you'll ever have being scared is what it says right there. Um, but yeah, I think he's really cool. Uh, like I said, it's not worth, uh, 80 bucks to... To a hundred or two hundred bucks, not worth the price. 
um, but I am very happy to have him, and he is now a new addition to my horror collection. Um, me and my brother are going to the Carolina Theater to go see Scream. Um, it's the, uh, they're showing the first film, um, 1996. And, uh, you can go in costume. Um, they encourage it. So, me and my brother, we're gonna go dressed up as Ghostface, uh, to go see, uh, Scream being played at the Carolina Theater. Excuse me. Um. This is the, uh, ticket. Right here. And it is for their, uh, his, um, Nightmare Off Elm Street, uh, film series for October. They are going to be showing, um, Friday the 13th, on Friday the 13th, the first film. I'm probably not going to be able to go to see it, because money-wise... Um, but in December, they're going to be showing the Nightmare Before Christmas in December, and I am going to go to that. Um, I will probably, um, film a video. I might film a video, uh, while I'm in there of me and my brother dressed as Ghostface. Um, but I will not be getting the, uh... But I'm not going to be showing the video. I'm not going to be showing the movie playing in the video because it is copyright. But yeah. And it's really cool because it's going to be kind of like from Scream 2. Uh, when they went to go see uh, Stab. So it's going to be really awesome. I wonder if... I'm wondering if there are going to be anybody else dressed up as Ghostface, uh, to go see Scream. So I wonder if there's gonna be other people dressed up as Ghostface. If it is, then that's gonna be amazing. I will take pictures and, a uh, video. Uh, but, yeah. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And, I hope to see you back for another video um so yeah i love all of you guys um if you guys are wanting to buy this plush doll of the creep from creep show um i will link um a link to uh ebay so, um, so you can go on there, so you can go on there and, uh, look for them. Um, so yeah, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I love every single one of you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!